Good talk. Thank you. Uh, up next, we have Craig Fuller, the CEO of Transvix. How's it? Good, good evening, everybody. I'm happy to be here. I've uh, been here in uh, Dallas-Fort Worth for the last two years. Uh, my background is I uh, have built uh, two different companies focused on transportation, transportation technology, um, and one uh, we grew to $144 million and $68 million of EBITDA within about two years. And the other was a payment uh, fuel card, fleet card company that we sold to U.S. Bank uh, a couple years ago. So um, what we are building is a futures exchange, a derivatives exchange based on transportation spot capacity. And we'll talk about how that works. Um, and so, if you think about commodities, uh, if you guys have seen the show uh, or the movie with Eddie Murphy where they go up and they uh, are, are trading the uh, Chicago Board of Trade, this is essentially the same concept in terms of commodities. Is we are uh, attempting to convert transportation pricing and transportation capacity into a tradable commodity. It seems a little strange that you could actually do it something that doesn't have physical delivery, it's perishable in, in, in nature. Uh, but this has been done in the maritime space, uh, about $200 billion uh, a year uh, are traded in derivatives based on maritime spot capacity. And we believe that you could do that in the trucking market as well. So that's essentially what we are aimed, aiming to do, is basically create an interchangeable, tradable commodity in terms of pricing for trucking spot capacity. And so this is a, a, a market where, in terms of our team, we've assembled folks from the trading community, and we've assembled folks from uh, the trucking industry to really solve this problem about uh, volatility and pricing. Um, and uh, we, are, we just raised our uh, Series A, or C, depends on, thank you, depends on how you classify it. So two months ago, uh, we raised $2 million from Hunt Technology Ventures. Um, it was essentially a spreadsheet or a PowerPoint presentation when we raised it. So we actually just had a team of people that were qualified individuals. And we believe that we can build a multi-billion dollar company by creating an entire new market to help solve the margin problem and pricing volatility problem that exists in trucks. There have been over a billion dollars in venture capital funded in the transportation trucking industry specifically in the last two years. And there's all this idea of Uberization of truck. If you think about Uber, Uber, basically what they've done is they've optimized the personal transportation market, but they've also essentially created this whole set of capacity that they need to. You can't do that in trucking. There's not like a truck driver or a guy who says, hey, I have this 53-foot trailer behind my house, and I'm going to drive for the weekend. That didn't exist. So you can't Uberize the industry, and trucking transactions are not, for the most part, interacted on a mobile phone. So in order to really solve the price volatility and to create a more stable marketplace, you've got to create a situation where companies can offset their risk and volatility by selling futures. And that's essentially what we're going to be doing. Um, so I, I, I gave a short introduction of myself, but I think more important, the team behind me. I am literally, consistently, the dumbest guy in the room with our management team. And that is, is pretty awesome, the, the team that we've assembled. So, uh, one of our executives uh, started or was number two player at a company called Sage Robinson, a $15 billion logistics company. Um, went from zero to $15 billion the time that he was there. Uh, global head of derivatives for Morgan Stanley is part of our team. Uh, the number one trucking uh, company, an EVP of sales and marketing. Uh, and so what we've done is we've assembled folks that can answer the question of how do you create a tradable commodity of something that's perishable and uh, synthetic? but also how do you solve this problem from an industry standard up? So that's essentially what we're we uh, aiming to do. If you look at the market opportunity, trucking in the United States is $700 billion. It's $2 trillion globally. It represents 12% of global GDP. And yet, as a commodity, it's not traded. But price, it is priced like a commodity. Trucking companies are subject to the same sets of supply and demand fluctuations that any other commodity is. And it is, it is, an opportunity for us to create a tradable commodity. And we believe the, the value in terms of total volume that can be traded is about $2.8 trillion. So it's a major, major opportunity. We derive that information 
looking at the size of the maritime uh, market that exists over in London. Um, and so basically the problem that we're solving is giving structure and predictability in transactional relationships and allowing trucking companies and market participants to hedge and protect their positions against volatility. What happens in the market is shippers go out and there's, you know, Walmart spent $10 billion in trucking. And what happens is they, they try to lock in prices and prices fluctuate and as the prices go down, trucking <laughs> I guess I'm done. So. Okay, question. Can you help me understand? I'm trying to understand what you're actually doing. So, are you, are you is the problem? I don't understand the volatility piece. Like, what's going up and down? Like, what pricing is it? The, to the, the actual space, and I'm assuming you're talking about the space volatility. I'm just trying to understand the problem a little better because I'm not getting it right now. It's price per rate per mile. So we're, we're not dealing, you think about when you buy a truckload, which is 95% of the truck. We're not talking about FedEx and UPS if you're shipping a box. We're talking about 53 foot trailers. You, you ship a feather or 45,000 pounds of steel, you're going to pay a rate per mile. So. That rate per mile it fluctuates on about a 40% band on a yearly basis. And the problem is, if you own that truck, your costs don't change. You gotta pay the driver, you gotta pay the fuel, and you gotta pay the truck payment, and your costs don't change, but your, your margin entirely does based on fluctuations. And so as the market softens, pricing goes down, and yet you have no way to offset that. You can hedge your fuel, but you can't hedge your pricing. And so your entire margin is based on that. It's my question builds off that one, and you started to get into this when you started talking about Walmart, but can you basically use Walmart or another big company that we would understand from a trucking standpoint and say the same thing, but in terms that are company-based and why a company would, would want to go down this route so I could better wrap my head around the problem that you're trying to solve? So uh, average truck, trucking rate's $1.50 per mile. If you're a trucking company and pricing collapses because the economy collapses, as it's right now happening, uh, then pricing's off 40% in two years. So what's happened is that price went from a buck 50 to say a buck 20. You're 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 losing 30 cents in in revenue top line, but your costs don't fix. If you're a trucking company, you sold a capacity to Walmart, so you're subject to uh, the, the price volatility. So with a future, you can offset it because what you're doing is you're selling. Uh, the right of that transaction in the future. Does that, does that make sense? Oh, sorry. If that's what's happening with the company as of right now, right? You have those future contracts that you're trying to create structure and predictability around. As Walmart, are you buying the structure and predictability? You're buying those contracts so that the trunking company has that revenue that they're able to say, okay, we know that we're doing Walmart in one year from now, two years from now? Uh, there's two counterparties. There's a buyer and seller. Somebody's selling, somebody's buying. It's a zero sum game. You have stock, you buy or sell it. Somebody bought that transaction. When a stock transaction happens, somebody bought that stock and somebody sold it. So Walmart is selling, selling a future and somebody's offsetting. Walmart's betting that the price goes down and the trucking company bets the price goes up. That's what they're betting. Um, so, what type of platform do you offer and who are the users of that platform? Like, what is your. Trucking Thank participants you. and large global financial firms like Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley. And is it like, how do they use your product? Is it like a website or app It's a website. It's all cloud-based. It's all cloud-based. It's, it's an exchange. So it's a regulated exchange by the CFTC, like SEC. So I was wondering who the market maker is going to be for this particular thing. Is there... Hmm? Oh, no, it's one minute and 34 seconds, sorry. The market maker in the exchange, um, so is it going to be directly partic participants in the trucking market playing against each other, or are you guys going to step in to try to fill the other side of some position if somebody wants to take it? We are an ex we stick an exchange, so we do not have a position in the market, but we facilitate parties of it. So are you going to have are you going to have these on different hubs like Chicago, Houston, Atlanta? So I own 50 trucks. So the market the market goes down, capacity goes up. Uh, so in the in the spread that I'm going to pay for this going to outweigh the the cost of it going down. 
Well, you only have a little teeny margin anyway. You do have a teeny margin. That's what we can help with because in, this, in the actual physical market that you're in right now, the tender market, the, the, you have no way to offset that price. But in what you would do is you would, you would be subject to the same supply and demand fluctuations of the price that happen in the real market, the market you're talking about today, but you offset that with a future. So the delta between the two should net you out to zero. So you could lose in the actual tender market, but you're going to make 30 to 40 cents a mile in the actual uh, futures market. Does that, does that make sense? It's all about offsetting risk. Okay, so clearly we didn't get to see the whole, <laughs> the whole story, I, and there's a lot of confusion. It's my so, first. Time. So what, what can we do for you as sort of just general, I'm not a trader, but was there anything the community here can do for you? We want to connect the community, connect to other individuals that are building interesting things. Uh, you know, we want to financially help the community if we can, hire. <laughs>